What's up everybody, Unrest it back again. Sorry for the background noise, I got two gentlemen in here talking quite loudly and their voices kind of carry across the entire mall that I'm in right now. I'm gonna try and hit you up with as much information as I can on this JFAC, Japan's Frequently Asked Questions. I am Unrest it with the questions you requested. Today we are talking about interfamily murders or famicide or killing someone within your own family. Why sometimes it's seen as rampant in Japan recently within just this month. There have been, let me read the facts here, I've got them written down. A 66-year-old killed his 7-year-old brother, a 55-year-old killed five of his neighbors by burning down their houses, and a man who I recently read an article about burned down his house killing four of his eight children. And there's actually quite a bit more out there. Uh, you can actually go to the paper right now and find a couple more stories that just happened today of people killing, but it's always within their own family. Well, according to the white paper report, it's kind of like an overall giant report that covers a tons of consensus throughout the country, it comes out on a certain regular amount each year on different things, and covering crime that covers homicide in Japan, the amount of homicides that have been inflicted via s crime syndicates, such as, of course, the Yakuza, have actually gone down quite a bit, and the ones that have gone up are interfamily crime and homicides committed within the family. So that's actually becoming more common than even the Yakuza killing you in Japan, which l let me just be very, very frank and tell you, for the most part, Japan is the most safe country you will ever live in if you visit Japan. I don't want you to get any kind of idea that murder is rampant in Japan. It is the murders I am talking about far, far, they're way, 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 way lower than any kind of murder rate we have in America. Okay, so please take take that into consideration. Now, I'm I'm only using Japan as my topic because my entire channel is about Japan. People always seem to want me to throw out there a disclaimer that, you know, other countries have crime and people get murdered there. Yes, I, I realize that, and you are welcome to make a channel about those other countries, but please, my channel is about Japan, you know. It's like walking into a pizza shop and saying, hey, you know fries are delicious too, why don't you make those? Because we're a pizza shop. If you want fucking fries, make your own fucking fry store or cook yourself some fucking fries. <laughs> oh, sorry, I get tired. I get tired of that disclaimer. Um, so, white paper report says decrease in Yakuza crime, <laughs> increase in interfamily crime. Went off on quite a tangent there. I listed a few, and so, uh, for this report that I read about in the newspaper, they contacted a family psychologist and asked him just to give them kind of a rundown on some of the reasons why these kind of murders would take place, what would spur people on to kill within their own family within Japan because it is kind of a unique situation um, as far as why Japanese people kill each other within their own family. And the reasons that he gave, I wrote some of them down, were um, most of these, if you notice, the ages were quite old. Um, we're talking 66 years old, 7 years old. 55, I don't know if I'd consider that that old, but these are up, up in years at least. And they come from a time in Japan where the family was ruled by the man, like everything was ruled by the man in the family. He pretty much came in and his word was law. Even if the woman in the family made a very good, a very rational point or had a way that she wanted to do things, um, he would just, if he didn't agree, he would shout it down. He would just pretty much come out there and either yell or shout down or even possibly back then use you know, domestic abuse, which was a sad but true fact. It did exist just like in the 1950s in America, where domestic abuse was just kind of like, yeah, of course, beat your wife. That's not such a big deal. Um, you know, obviously now we've become more humane and realize how horrible that is. Hopefully, hopefully we have. Um, so they see violence or shutting people down through uh, emotional outbursts as a way to solve conflict and interfamily conflict. And so that's what they do. But when both sides are grown people and they both erupt into this conflict and both don't bow down to the other, it leads to possibly murder being the final solution. I stop you with yelling, it doesn't work, so I move to the next, which is punching, and I move to the next, which is murder. Um, you know, and not necessarily saying punching was the next step, but physical violence. Um, and then there also uh, exists jealousy and rage over fear uh, that you are not the best in your family or you are not lavished with as much praise as another family member. Um, competition within families, which I think that can kind of exist internationally. I don't think that's something that is uh, perfectly attuned only to Japan. 
um, this does tend to register as one of the things that have led to family violence. Now let me just throw out there my own shiny two cents because my mother said they were always so shiny. Uh, here, here's another factor I want to throw in there, okay? So people are working 12 hours a day a lot of the times in Japan, or at least they're working way over eight hours, okay? Um, and when they do these jobs, sometimes they go away to the different places their company moves them to. Sometimes they even live in company housing and stuff, so they get moved very far away from their family. They're working these jobs like nonstop. They don't have much connection with their family during this time. I'm saying family members, which they grew up with, you know, they've started their own families, which they get to see possibly every day. They're working, they're working their whole life. They grow distant from these people. They don't know them as well anymore. I mean, even if you were born with someone, if you don't see them for years and years and years, you can find them years later to be a very different person than what you knew. So taking someone away from their family or not giving them enough vacation time or a chance to visit these people or catch up with them or not taking the time yourself or the responsibility yourself of contacting them, calling them on a regular basis leads to the fact that when you get back home for these uh, different things like a funeral or a family reunion or a family birthday or Oban week, whatever it could be, uh, you might find yourself face to face with a stranger, someone you don't agree with anymore, someone you have very different views from now. Um, it could be many, many different things. So that's just my own little theory of how things could possibly go wrong with the family. Um, I also think a lot of, you know, social pressures too. I want you to think about this. In general, in Japan, you're putting on your happy mask, okay? When you go outside of your house, when you're at work, you have to put on that happy mask. You can't be getting angry real easy. You can't show emotion real easy. Where's the one place you're allowed to have release of emotion? That is at your house. Even in Japan, people can be very emotional at home. Um, if you ever watch a Japanese drama, you'll notice when they're at home is when they're the most emotional. That's, uh, that's like putting the lid on a steaming pot and then even putting a cork where it's supposed to steam out and when you finally get home you just rip off the lid and the cork and you just let everything out all at once, it explodes, okay? All those different emotions that you've been having to stuff inside of you and not let out for ages while you've been out in the happy mask world come pouring out of you and they might be positive or negative, we don't know. And uh, I think that can be a very volatile situation. Anyway guys, that is just my two cents on why inter-family murders happen sometimes in Japan, why there does seem to be a progressive pickup of uh, family murders. Um, you know, like I said, the crime rate is still very, very far, far below any country, that any Western English-speaking country. So, I mean, please don't feel for a second that Japan is any sort of crime-ridden country. It's, it's by far one of the most safest countries in most civil, most down-to-earth, calm countries in the world. Anyway, guys, I am unrested with the questions you requested. This is JFAC, Japan's Frequently Asked Questions. Thanks for watching.